How about this for a bit of news? Uh, the UK's biggest ever dinosaur trackway site has just been discovered in this quarry in Oxfordshire. Tom Clark is here to talk about it. It's given us a new insight into Jurassic Britain. It's around 200 dinosaur prints made 166 million years ago. I mean, Tom, this is quite a lot to get your head around, yeah. just in terms of, you know, how well preserved they are. Exactly. Outside Bicester, you know, in a quarry that was, you know, at one time, 166 million years ago, this this highway for dinosaurs. And we've got five different trackways, as you said, like 200 footprints. Uh, but what makes it really interesting is you've got, you know, different dinosaurs interacting in that space. And, mm. you know, while we know a lot about dinosaurs from their fossil remains, and you can infer various things about that mm. from their skeletons, we don't know very much about, you know, how they lived, how they got about. And that's why these sites are so exciting to paleontologists and for all of us who just, you know, walk around Britain on a daily basis, mm. forgetting about the fact that it was a very different place. This, the UK wasn't the UK back then, it was a kind of... Yeah, the shopping village it, wasn't the best the, then. Yeah, <laughs> the people weren't training their way out to London to, uh, to shop for, for, for branded goods. Um, it was the Tethys Ocean was all around, it was kind of an archipelago of islands, and, and I'm a, we can speculate this was some sort of marshy, boggy area. Mm. You can see the footprints have soaked into the mud. Four of the trackways are from a relative of Diplodocus, you know, this big herbivorous dinosaur. And they're massive, they're 60 centimetres wide, these, these, these footprints. 18 metre long herbivorous dinosaurs splodging their way through this mud. And then at one point crossing them are the footprints of a Megalosaurus. And this was a nasty thing, a nine metre long dinosaur with huge jaws. It was a, 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 a carnivore. Uh, was it preying on the young um, uh, Cetiosaurus, which, which is the, 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 the big animal here, because uh, obviously it's far too big to take on one of the big ones, they're like mm. the elephants of their time, was it scavenging on their remains, you know. And one of the exciting things about finding this, you can see how these dinosaurs were moving, you can make inferences about, you know, how big they were because of the um, sediment. Interestingly, at this same quarry back in the 90s, they discovered another even longer trackway, but with modern techniques, the researchers are saying they've been able to do sort of 3D scans and make models of these footprints in a much more sophisticated way. They're hoping to learn more. And they can also study the paleontology of what's going on in the sediment, what plants were growing there, what animals were living in these sediments as well, to build more of a picture of what life was like back then. Um, and here you can see them. this was in the summer when they excavated it. Um, and uh, this is, we know about it now because this is going out as part of a, a BBC documentary uh, coming up um, and a big new exhibition at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. So you can go and see some of these casts and, and images of the footprints there. It's incredible, um, isn't it? Because when you think about it, the, you know, as you're talking about Oxfordshire, it wasn't Oxfordshire then. The UK wasn't the UK then. You know, we no. weren't an island. We were part of, you know, a bigger landmass, different islands. We were actually in another part of the ocean. So it literally blows my mind this morning that these have been discovered so well preserved. And look, you can see the track going off there. Where, you know, where does it end? Exactly. <laughs> where does it go? And, and what's amazing, I, and, and another thing I think about the serendipity of these discoveries, I mean, the number of times in quarries like this, going back of the years, they're excavating through the mud for the next layer of sand, so they would have scraped these things away. The digger driver, <laughs> who was spoken to, um, you know, he noticed these bumps and thought nothing of it, but it wasn't until he did the next section and realised, you know, oh, there's another one. And because he'd been working at the quarry for long enough, remembered this discovery back in the 90s, he thought, oh, maybe oh, well, this is something him. interesting. Yeah. And you think about the, the chance that they had to be scraping that layer, if they'd gone any deeper, it would have been obliterated mm. and we wouldn't know about it. And this is, you know, the, there are other trackways in the UK. There are some in Dorset and other parts of the world as well, but they're still quite rare and valuable to have one that this, the, this long and this foot. And there's a nice bit of history as well, because the Megalosaurus, you can see it's three-toed footprint, uh, yeah, they're doing a mould of it there. how big it is compared Small, to the people it's around about, it. Yeah, it's about yeah. yay big. Yeah, this is a big thing, a nine metre long dinosaur, a uh, uh, predator. Um, this was the first dinosaur ever to be discovered in that key sort of early Victorian period where this excitement around dinosaurs first grew, yeah. not far away in Oxfordshire. So this is a kind of, it's, it's seeing more evidence, and this was 200 years ago, so it's almost exactly the anniversary of the discovery of this, this whole era of the fascination with dinosaurs mm -hmm. that have driven so many people to become interested in natural history and, and the past world. It's just a we fascinating both, We both say before, before we went live on air, this has reignited our excitement about dinosaurs as children, Absolutely. sort of re-equating ourselves with them. And just quickly, what happens to the 
prints? Will it be so, in a state where people could actually go and see them in now, years to for come? For the time or? being, it's a, it's a work inquiry, so it's closed to the public, so don't rush there this weekend. They won't, they won't let you in. There is an exhibition going on at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. Apparently, there, there is a conversation about what to do with the site. Mm. Now, this is the second trackway to be found there, but that's, so those conversations are ongoing, so we don't know. For the medium term, it remains closed. But you, you can certainly see the prints mm. and some of the science they're learning. And there'll be a lot of study. You know, paleontologists will be going over this evidence for years. You know, mm. People will write their PhD theses on this, so there's a lot to be learned um, as they get more and more data out of here. Love this story. What a story to kick the new it's year off fun. with. Um, Tom, thank you so much there. Tom Clark reigniting his love for dinosaurs live on the TV today.